Good morning. It's Monday morning, and today we finish the Gospel of Matthew. <coughs> now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Here we see clearly that Jesus uh, has no time for skydiving or uh, rock high mountain climbing or any of that. He says, lo, I am with you always. Think about that. Um, but seriously, folks, uh, here we have what's called the Great Commission, where Jesus commissions the disciples to go out everywhere in the world and uh, preach the gospel, teach people uh, to be my disciples, my followers, and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, okay, it's a little bit doubtful that the church's um, Trinitarian theology was that well understood as early as Matthew wrote this, and so, or as Jesus, at the time Jesus said it, so we, you know, we're not really sure about um, about that, but this is what Matthew puts into Jesus' mouth, so the best understanding we have is that at least at the time Matthew was written, within, say, 30 years of Jesus' death, that uh, this was their understanding of things. The disciples did go in every direction. Um, Peter, for instance, went to Rome. Thomas went to India. A bunch of the others went north into uh, Eastern Europe. Some went um, south into Africa. And um, all of them, except John the Beloved, met with gruesome deaths. Um, but the history of that, it gets a little legendary. So you have a place in, I don't know, Albania that says, well, this is where so-and-so was crucified. And you got some place in Africa with a similar name that says, no, this is where he was crucified. And nobody knows. Uh, God knows. But the point is that they went in every direction and spread the gospel um, over uh, several decades with incredible opposition and difficult circumstances. And yet they did it. Uh, John Calvin once said that the Ascension Day, which is the day that this points to, is one of the four most important um, holidays in the Christian church. He said it was, um, I want to say Epiphany, and then Easter, and then the Ascension, and then Pentecost. So, you know, Christmas isn't in there, and um, um, nobody even keeps track of when Ascension Day is anymore. It comes uh, 40 days after Easter, 10 days before Pentecost. Yeah, so it's like on a Thursday every year, and so what? But it was a time that we should be conscious of our faith because Jesus uh, just says goodbye to his disciples and goes up in the air and disappears, you know, into the clouds. So um, what does that actually mean? You know, that's something that we need to uh, ponder and think about, and we will, <coughs> excuse me, we'll get to later in the, later in the year. Um, but for today, remember his, his command to us to go and to tell people everywhere about him uh, and to share his love with people everywhere. Um, someone back in the day, it uh, might have been St. Augustine, might have been St. Francis, but they said, preach always, if necessary, use words, which means, you know, let your life be a witness to Jesus, even if you're not good at, at explaining uh, things about who he is or what he, what he means. But ponder that today, um, and we'll see what we do tomorrow. I have a couple of different ideas, but we'll do something tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Have a great Monday. And uh, God bless. <laughs>